I came to the Muscarel Museum today to see the exhibit of photographs taken soon after the fall of the Berlin Wall, but I also see from their signage outside the museum that they have another exhibit called About Face. So I am here in plenty of time for the docent tour. Let's see what else I see. Well, this About Face exhibit seems to be all about interesting juxtapositions at the subjective whim of the curator, but I'm rather enjoying them. Here we have a uh, bust, a, a head rather, by Jean-Baptiste Carpeau next to a jug decorated by Pablo Picasso. I do like refreshing juxtapositions. They make one think differently. Isn't that what art is for? And it's always good to see my old friends, their majesties, King William III and Mary, from whom the College of William and Mary took its name. Thanks, folks, for chartering us in 1693. I enjoyed my years here. Well, the exhibit isn't only about portraiture. Here they've taken a similar subject, still life, and shown an approach by two very different artists. This would be a good exhibit to bring budding artists to, just to show them how a different perspective, different approach to seeing can create very different and yet equally meaningful works of art. Now I confess I had to stretch a bit to see why these three pictures were placed together. But then I began to see the complements of color and layout, composition, and although the one in the middle is of a body lying on a bed, it has similar shapes and forms to the Georgia O'Keeffe picture on the left good way to exercise the eye and the mind. The floral still life on the right reflects the tonalities of the O'Keeffe flower as well as the dominant vertical shapes in the picture in the middle. Interesting choice. I did not know until this exhibit that the Berlin Wall was actually two walls, one very high, one lower, with a grassy strip in the middle, well lighted and filled with landmines. One could tell at a glance from the outdated clothing who were the Easterners. Many of the comments of people who lived near the wall simply reflected anxiety of the unknown after it came down including this elderly person who was faced with rising food costs, but possibly no more pension. We uh, initially worked in film. In fact, she's a film editor for the uh, West Dutch uh, run company, Western TV uh, out of uh, Cologne. And uh, then she got to uh, so study this, so she went to the Art Academy in Berlin for two years in the uh, uh, early 80s. And then she was back in Berlin in 89 when the wall finally came down. Initially, she was going to shame the uh, period of the early to mid-1990, uh, when they were talking about reunification, and, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, they were already tearing a lot of the wall down. Grab people walking through the area and pose them in front of sections of the wall and ask the question, how do you feel now? And of course, there's quite a difference between
other system, uh, exchange of goods, uh, the shipping of wheat and other goods to the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union would ship uh, tanks and uh, other heavy equipment into the uh, East Germany. They had to sort of round robin deal in the East Block. Uh, you know, they had a bunch of watches or something. They ship them to the optics. They ship them to Hungary. Uh, so the young people they still had some background to understand. Yeah. And that's probably going to be the toughest thing is uh, they had uh, uh, the students, but especially. Uh, High school students, you've got to spend time mm -hmm. to explain history and pretty much you can maintain 